everyone, and welcome to the What's Wrong With Wrestling Extreme Rules Recap. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano. Right here. And uh, we just watched Extreme Rules. We did. Extreme. Not when so I think of extreme, it's like ECW. Yeah. Right, Hardys. Lots of weapons. Big Foley. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm seeing that. You know, like, like for instance, there was the, um, there was like a match with two little guys. Yeah. And nothing happened. Right. There was a women's match that had a little stick in it. There was a match that had a no, disqualification yes. stipulation. Yes. You can only win by submission. Yes. Very extreme, extreme. clearly. One table spot in the whole night. Yes. One table spot. That's right. I was like, clearly they're saving all this extreme stuff for the end. No. One table spot. Late. No, table spot was great. It was, it was good. great. It was really good. It was just one. It just one. Extreme rules? Yeah. Not so extreme. No. No. No, not at all. No. Uh, so uh, we have to talk about the pre-show match, Kalisto versus Apollo Crews. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> terrible. Who cares? Oh man, so start off Extreme Rules, we got Dean Ambrose versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Love these two guys. You know, for, a pretty good match. They always have a great match. This was probably their best match they've ever had together. It was very good, very entertaining, a lot of cool stuff. Right. For at least a couple weeks now, they've been setting the whole thing up where if Dean Ambrose loses by DQ, he loses the match, like just completely setting it's it up. title. Yeah, that's why I thought he was gonna somehow retain, of course. Of course, I'm an idiot, but it was still a very entertaining match. I really thought they were gonna use it to actually take the title from him. No, they didn't, they use didn't any of even it. use it. They kind of used it in the match, though. Well, yeah. The stipulation was used. Ambrose only got almost got dis disqualified a bunch of times, even though the Miz is the one that's cheating. Miz, the ref's like, should I? Yeah, should yeah. I? Yeah, you should be DQing the Miz. Are you with Maurice? Like, yeah. are you kidding? Yeah, it's Maurice. Life. Maurice slaps the Miz because he tells her to, yeah. and the ref thinks maybe Dean's. Effing Maurice, right? Which means he's cheating on Renee. Wow. So I, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff a lot going on. That, a lot a of, stuff of stuff going on in that ref's brain right then. He's like, but but if you're with Maurice, then, then who's with Renee? Are you with Renee, Miss? So uh, he got confused. I mean, really, at that point, shouldn't he DQ the Miz for yeah. trying to cheat? Right. But no. So if it wasn't you, I'm going to DQ the Miz. Yeah. But he didn't do that. Yeah. And then after a bunch of stuff, he, the he ref. throws Ambrose into the ref. The ref then thinks, you know, he's like, dude, Ambrose, what you again? Ambrose is like, dude, I've been telling you no, man. Right. The, the ref starts to walk over to the timekeeper to tell him to ring the bell because that's what the refs always do when they right. when they end a the match. They walk all over. They walk first. They walk over there and they go, hey. You need to ring that bell. Should I ring this bell? No. They just, yeah. They just do this in the ring. Ring the bell! Yeah. Come on! Right. No, he's walking all over. Yeah, think about it. This hits the skull crushing finale. The Hollywood facelift, you mean? Yeah. To become, that's what Better. they should call it, really. Better. Yeah, that's true. Uh, to become the seven time internet, uh, internet, uh, uh, intercontinental champion. Yes. Only Jericho has more. Yeah, he has nine. Yeah. And he says he always has to make sure he has more than the Miz. He said that before. Yeah. So hopefully he'll come back. Better. Hopefully Miz will catch up so he has to come back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But um, it just, I mean, I was loving the whole match. And at the end, I got so mad that, that Dean lost. It just shows what a Dean mark I am. But I don't like that title on Dean. I just don't like it on Dean. He's not, he's not the main title. Well, he's not. You don't win this title. He's not replacing that title with anything else. He's not winning another title. You know, maybe this will be a rematch. Shield it. Maybe we'll shield it up. Shield it up. What do you say? Good at this point, because you know what? Shield it up. All three of them are doing nothing. Yeah. They really are. So Absolutely. why not? Why not do the shield, yeah. right? Yeah. Next up, we got Rich Swan and Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox and Noam Dar. Turns out this wasn't really a Sasha match. No. It was just to get Rich Swan over? Wow. Wait, he's already been the cruiserweight champion. Yeah. Why does why does he need Sasha Banks to get more over? He doesn't. Hashtag Sasha deserves better, by the way. Hashtag we're done talking about this match. Yeah, the the, the, the faces with the, win. With the... They dance some more and Cole just randomly says, Man, this is fun. Yeah. With no convincing and, at and, all. And no. No, we know it's no, not it fun. Wasn't. Speaking of not fun, Elias Sampson, because they have time to fill, what was this, this easily could have been a two hour show. Yeah. And they extended it to three hours. That's horrible. When you have oh. to extend something. 240. <laughs> yeah, really. Two, yeah. But he comes out, he's just strumming the guitar in the middle of the ring, major heat with the crowd crapping on Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. And they're like, who's coming out? Yeah. I was thinking, Hogan? like, yeah, one of the Baltimore Ravens. Ray Lewis? <laughs> yep. No. No one comes out. It just, 
literally just ends. Yeah. They cut to Cole and the announce team and they just start talking. Yeah. I mean, look, I like Elias Samson. Right. But it makes no sense that you have a heel come out, crap on the crowd, and then leave so the crowd just still feels shitty. Who's from Baltimore like, that's oh, retired? That has okay. to be a superstar that's from Baltimore that's retired. Of course. Edge. Stacey uh, Keebler? Keebler. I'm sure she lives there, right? Yeah, right. So the, the 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 crowd feels crappy already. Next up, we so have. So speaking of a match yeah. that had a lot of hype and nothing happened, right? Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. Oh man! So Bailey, we, we Bailey, predicted this. We predicted a hundred percent of this. Yeah, right. Bailey cut a promo earlier in the night, and the whole audience was booing her like she was Roman Reigns. Yeah. Because just like Roman, can't cut a promo, and there's no energy from her. Yeah. There's no energy, no excitement at all. None. I mean, yeah, she grabbed the, the kendo stick and then thinks about using it. She's like, hmm. All right. Um, Here it comes, Alexa. I want to let you know it's coming. Here it comes. Tackled. Yeah. And then Alexa just uses it on her. Yeah. Hits her on the head by mistake. Yeah. Alexa hit her. She's like, oh, crap. And the ref asked Bailey if she was all right, which I guess she was. But probably not. She probably has a concussion. Then some other stuff happened. She hit, well, no, she just hits her with a couple more times, DDTs her, that's it. Pretty Goodbye, much. Bailey. Turns out you suck. Turns out the whole This Is Your Life segment was true because yeah. you didn't prove anybody wrong. Terrible. I hate that. It's just, no, you. Why do they. Like, I don't like Bailey, Such but it makes no sense up. to bury the and face then, like that. And then bury her. Like, fine, lose, but like, just to not what even. What was the use point the of all the buildup? What was the point of all the buildup? There was no point. None. There was no point. None. And so, let's get to what should have been an amazing tag team match. Right. In a steel cage. Yeah. First time in 15 years, Cole said. We don't know what that meant. Yeah. Maybe the tag titles are being know. defended in a cage. Probably. With the Hardys at an Extreme Rules event. <laughs> First time in 15 years. Well, they're the champions. Slash against the Star Seamus. Slash ever. <laughs> yeah. Look, this was a decent match, I guess. You know, there right. were some cool spots. You know, Jeff ended up jumping off the top like he promised. Well, the show. so Jeff, yeah, exactly. Jeff, Jeff got out of there pretty early on. He's out, and then he got back in. And I guess I, they didn't say this, but I guess the stipulation is: if you leave the cage but get back in, you have to leave again. You're back in the cage because Ring Matt could have just gone out right. while you know Seamus so dragging Jeff. So Seamus was climbing out of the cage, so Sheamus, and he's dragging Jeff out so bad. So bad. So they win. So give it to the most boring tag team. Oh. You had to. You had to give up the title somehow. But hey, don't worry. Great balls of fire is coming. Yeah. Rematch and City. Have another rematch. Rematch City. All the rematch. You got to win it back so you can eventually lose to the revival yeah. at uh, SummerSlam. Oh wait, they're not going to do that because that's what we want to see. You know what they're also not going to do? Bailey and Sasha, probably, because unless it's not for the title. Well, no. both are buried currently. They are. Like, what are they both doing? Well, currently both are buried. No, they'll have the pre-show match Six at SummerSlam. Pre-show at SummerSlam. It'll be great. Stop it. Greatest pre-show Stop match it. ever. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Next up, we have Neville versus Austin Aries. Right. I mean, look, this is the third pay-per-view I think in a row um, where these two are fighting. Aries, yes. it's your time. So go ahead and give him the title. Here's the title, Aries. Now I said, here's the title, Aries. Well, hey, he did make Neville tap outside the ring, which means but nothing. this is a submission match that has no Extreme Rules in it because it's Extreme no. Rules pay-per-view. Right. Uh, but you have to make him submit inside the ring. Taps, it could have said taps count anywhere. Right, but exactly. It. Maybe an I quit match. Right. That would have been fun. Anything. No. no. He just taps in the middle of the ring. That's it. And that's it. And that's it. So and that's, and that's Austin Aries, awesome. like Bailey, is just a little piece of crap. And they You're zoom nothing. in on him. They zoom in on him after the match and he's just like... Yeah. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. He posted ever. it. Andrew posted it. It's I think so that weird. was real. Like Austin Aries is like, why do I have I have to keep doing this? Can I go back to NXT where I was winning matches? Where I was winning matches. Okay. I'll take the NXT title, please. Like we like Austin Aries, but if you keep having the face lose a match, you, you keep having someone that we like lose, you're gonna lose interest with right. the crowd. Right. Hey, how bad are the Jets gonna be this year? Pretty, pretty bad. How interested are you? Not at all. Not so interested. No. When they just keep losing, you right. lose interest. Right. That's why they have to break up Enzo and Cass now. Because they've lost every match, you have to break them up. We're well, done. Rocky's a very, very famous franchise. Yeah. And you know why it got good? Right. Because they let them win. Exactly. And Rocky <laughs> actually <laughs> goes, how about you uh, win this time? Yeah. Well, what? Mid-America Mid loved him. What, you're going to have five Rocky movies and he never wins? Right. <laughs> Come on. You let him win. It's part of the storyline. Yeah. I'm relating that to wrestling in the sense that let the writers 
Like the writers should be letting the win, like the faces win occasionally, right. so they can build them up. But who's? But they lose. But with Neville, you have to think someone is eventually coming to 205 Live to take it from him. Who? I don't know. People are thinking that it's going to be uh, Alistair Black, but I don't think he deserves to go to 205 Live. <laughs> don't do that to him, please. Not excited about that. Especially if it's being canceled. Not like excited about that. To be. Anyway, so finally we have the main event, the Fatal Five Way, to determine who will lose to Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire. My goodness oh gracious. And they took my, they put the music to the damn trailer. Well, they, they, they watched to. mine. It they has over 8,000 views on, on YouTube, they so clearly they were one of them. So this match... They flagged a lot of our videos. Yes. Not the first time, not the first time. <laughs> this match, uh, sucked? I mean, for a Fatal Five Way? The first Couple spots, but that's it. The first 20 minutes were just Bray Wyatt and Samoa Joe beating everyone up like they were Big Show and Kane in the Royal Rumble that Reigns won. Yeah. Like, it was like, oh my god, like, you know? Yeah. Like, we'd like to see them as a tag team, but not like this. Right. Not like this. There were some funny elements to it when they were both trying to, like, sneak on each other. Right. You know, they don't trust each other. That was fun and kind of funny. Yeah. A um, couple nice spots, the spear through the uh, wall. Yes. Which was cool. Roman does that all the time, though. I mean, right. it's any time. Two guys, though. It was two guys. <laughs> he did two guys, yeah. And then, of course, Seth Rollins' frog splash. That was the highlight of the night, really. The frog splash off the top rope onto the announce table. Yeah. Very nice. But in the end, just like the betting odds said, they got every match right, by the way. Well, yeah, and then, and then they just changed it all like yesterday. It will. So if you really want to bet it, you should bet it. Like if Well, we, we did it Wednesday night. It came out like Thursday. Yeah. So it was the day after we we wrote in, you know, we did our predictions. I mean, should we they try got every big money? every match right? Should we put big money on this start next time? But they don't I'll always get every match right. There's yeah, sometimes where you'll get screwed. Like 99%, I'll take this. Because especially yeah. Samoa Joe is so heavily favored. Yeah. You have to bet so much money to win a little bit, you know. 1 to 10, right? It's, yeah. I, I don't know. It was something like that. Right. I think it was Should we take the hard. worst odds? Yeah. The best odds. Right. Because I always get them right and then just bet that one heavily every time. I guess so. We're gonna be rich pretty soon. Rich. It's just, it takes. It does take the fun all out of it because if we didn't see that, we would have been so shocked that Samoa Joe won. We probably should stop. To be honest. But I'm on Twitter all the time because of the because of the a Twitter account for the podcast. I always see it. Can't avoid it. Yeah. And uh, of course, you know they do the MMA thing where it's just like one arm drops. I'm surprised they even. Raised one Balor arm, to, and it's Balor. Balor has to take the Balor ball. turning blue. Like, yeah, he can't get out of it. No, because he just he just put him in it. Right. He can't crawl out of this. No. Yeah. Not at all. And so Samoa Joe will face Brock Lesnar. I wish they would just let him win. That seems like a good match, but who's the who's the face in that match? Lesnar's been being billed as a heel. Lesnar's been now. a heel since he's Samoa left. Joe's a heel. They're gonna root for. Joe, I guess the crowd will be on Joe's side uh, just because Lesnar's a part timer. They still I don't like any of this. I bet they still pop for Lesnar. I think a couple things might happen. Joe might lose his opportunity to somebody because that could happen, or they throw a third face in there just to mix it up. Maybe I don't know. I think Lesnar. And this is the one before SummerSlam. We get also, yeah, in July. Right. Yeah. It's in July. It's in July. Yeah. yeah. It's a month away. You have a month to build with Brock Lesnar. But yeah, it's interesting because Heyman cut that promo with Balor in the ring, and clearly Heyman was the heel in that ring, you know what I mean? So, as soon as Balor came out without the makeup, you knew he wasn't winning. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess we'll see what happens at Great Balls of Fire. Um, maybe we'll be there. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. Not yeah. looking too too forward to that. No. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really all we got. That's yeah. Really all we there got is tonight, there is so. one more thing, Andrew. And by one, one's a big number here. Oh my God. Because because I've lost by this one before. WrestleMania, to be uh, to be exact. That's At WrestleMania, right. I beat you by one point. That's but right. But tonight. Yeah. Uh huh. Josh did nothing. <laughs> oh my god, it was so bad. Josh was Josh. Josh is back where hey, he belongs. He picked Samoa Joe though. with Josh. He, he was the only one who picked Samoa yeah, Joe. He did his he predictions. He picked Jinder, he picked Joe. <laughs> Not bad. To be fair, he did these predictions a little late. Well, clearly you should take three points. We don't really need to. Ah! We don't yeah. really need to. No, we don't. Yeah, yeah, we unfortunately. Don't. And Eric didn't do well, but the winner by one point. Yeah. And still! Your champion, six out of eight. I mean, this is getting kind of ridiculous. 
This is getting a little silly. Yeah. You're gonna have to beat me three times in a row now, just for a shot at this Man, championship. I gotta, I gotta be off scenarios now. I don't know. So you I know what? Champion. Let me tell you this one thing. This is my belt. Okay, fine. This is your belt, okay? Yeah. But come Tuesday, my yeah. friend. Yeah. You want to touch it? You're not getting this belt. I'm not. You, this belt is going away from you is on it? Tuesday. Okay. Because Tuesday? we're we're getting the new one. The new one's coming, so you. Yes! Are so right. I get the first one! It's coming Tuesday, you'll get it Wednesday. Come on! Yeah. Because I wasn't the first winner of this. I wasn't. No. You were Eric. But, it, but, but I get the first new one. You know what? I might just keep them both. Be a double-fisted champion. I don't think so, no. I think we're going to do something we've special with this we've one. We've beaten this one up. Yeah, mostly you. You've been, you have been the champion for a while. You've won it a few times. Put in the back of your back of your Yeah, and the Yankees have won the World Series a few times. And clearly look how he look how he treats it. I mean yeah. if you, you look how look at this up close. Look how he treats this belt. Not too not very well. Yeah. He treats it like Roman Reigns treats the United States yeah. Championship. It's my bitch. So you, yeah, you really sell it, so I can do whatever I want to it. Maybe uh maybe we'll give it to someone else. Maybe we'll give it to one of you. What? <laughs> Dear! How about this? No, don't get it. Dip. No, it's not over yet. I said damn. How about this? We have people fill out the brackets, fill out the pages, the pay-per-view prediction. Next one. And if you could beat me, and whoever beats me by the most points gets the title. Well, if no one beats you, though. Well, then I keep it. <laughs> me, 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 me. So have the other one. Someone will beat me. <laughs> well, whoever gets the most points, but they have to beat me to take it, right? Well, we'll think about this it. This is a different championship. So there it is if you want it. Come and get it, because tonight, I'm the champion, and you're not. Take it away, Andrew. I mean, like, finish it up. I think, you, I think you broke it. Yeah?